I'm sorry. Oh, you'll be popular. Tell me about it. Oh, you're cute, um, aren't you? Clap's getting kind of busy in the cubicles. Need a hand? Um, you're branching into a new specialism? Well, mm -hmm. she's kind of special. Right, well, when you're ready to play doctor again. Oh. Oh. Brilliant. Thank you, Mop. There you go. This guy in cubicle three is your patient. He was found lying on the pavement, possible injury from a fall, amnesia after 8 a.m. GCS was 14 at the scene. OK, well, if it's nothing more than the drink, we should be able to turn him around as quickly as possible. Yeah, just to get rid of the dog. There's a dog. Oh, apparently. ECG is clear, but I'm a little bit concerned about the memory lap, so I'd like to send you for a CT. And I need something for my pain. Specific pain or just general pain? Stomach very low. Right, OK. Um, we'll get that looked at. When, when did it start? It's there the whole time. Agony. OK, we'll look at that for you. Also, can we take some bloods and send them off for Emily's and NFT? <coughs> My patient, the one you took to the scanner. Uh, still there, as far as I'm aware. He did a runner before they could get to him. Uh, well, guarding patients isn't strictly my responsibility. And neither is looking after dogs. Good point, well made. Uh, uh. Take it outside and call the RSPCA. Well, she was looking dehydrated. Get her out now. Thank you, Sam, missing patient, update me. A uh, security guy saw him wander outside, probably looking for another drink, which will, of course, make his injuries even worse. What are we talking? Well, at best, an alcoholic can use to change his ways, and at worst, a man with an undiagnosed intracranial hemorrhage. And a dog that needs a good feed. Right, well, we'll circulate the descriptions of the police. Mm -hmm. I just need you to keep that as still as possible, OK? Uh, he was, um, he was coming back in. He was feeling dizzy, his head was hurting. He'd been drinking again. Um, then he fell and smashed his hand on the bottle. Let's get some views of that ASAP, then we can take the glass out. Look straight ahead for me. I'm going to shine this torch in your eyes. Follow my finger. Pupils are responsive. I'd like to get a CT to rule out any bleed. How's the pain in your abdomen? Still there. Take a look at the stomach as well, then. The X-ray has shown that the glass is embedded very superficially into your hand. So I'm happy to remove it now. And then, once CT are ready for you... Is it going to hurt? Just tell me, is it going to hurt? It's all done. Well done. Are you happy to dress the wound while we wait for CT? No, I'm not going there. Well, I'm afraid you need to. We're very concerned about the blow to your head and we need to sort out what's causing the abdominal pains. No way. That... that thing. And you it's can't make me. And no! Uh, easy. So, okay, just relax, yeah. Come on. Good work talking around. Yeah, beyond the call of duty there, mate. I didn't do anything. No, you did, honestly. And this hurts me to say it, but uh, you're wasted as a porter. Sucked in by the dog, a vulnerable old man being nice to the porters. It's like I don't know you. Hey. I'm still combat trained, so watch it. Ooh, I like the sound of it. Oh, it's all right. We'll pick them up. <laughs> the radiologist's report shows no areas of concern for the blow you took to your head this morning. But you do have an extremely enlarged liver, which would explain the abdominal pains. Coupled with the bloods we took, I'm afraid it's looking very likely that you're in the early stages of cirrhosis of the liver. What can you do? Well, right now, there's no immediate medical treatment. <laughs> you giving on? Certainly not. I don't blame you. I can write a letter to your GP oh. suggesting he refer you to a liver specialist. Yeah. Bother. I'm done. Not even interested in what they have to say? No. If you won't treat me, I just want to be discharged. Go home and just sleep. Fine. I'll start processing the paperwork. You looking after the guy with the dog? Uh, yeah. Just discharged him. Well, the RSPCA are on the way and they want to speak to him. Well, not about Betty. That's the last thing he needs. How long until they get here? Any minute. Well, can you delay him? I'll try my best. They shouldn't be coming. She, she's fine with me. 
time with me. They're coming because someone called as they were concerned about Betsy's welfare. That's a better life than I do. I'm sure she does. I'm really concerned about you. I want you to understand how serious your condition is. Oh. What will be, will be. You can't think like that, man. You've got years ahead of you, yeah? Doing what? To get off the drink for a start. Look, it's not going to be easy, but there's people there that can help you, support you through all this. It doesn't hurt when I drink. Nothing hurts. If you continue drinking, your liver's going to pack in and you'll die. They're the facts. Dog? It's as simple as that. I know I haven't got long to live. I don't want long to live. Since Betsy's been taken away. Well, Betsy's here. She's on her way over from the ambulance. Betsy was my wife. And she's waiting for me. I know I'll see her again. I will see her again. Oh, someone's pleased to see you. Oh. Now then. Oh, you, you're beautiful. How about this little one, eh? If you don't look after yourself, who's going to give her the care and attention she needs? You're right. I can't. <laughs> what, what about Betsy? <laughs> Betsy's not here anymore. Well, I know that now. No one comes There's up no with a good way help. you can have a dog. Couldn't get for a bit of interdepartmental bonding. I'd rather go for a pint. <laughs> what about you two? Yeah, we'll catch you up. Hey, are you joining us? I think we'll give it a miss. Date night. Oh, spare us the details. Come on, Big Mac, stop mucking about. Let's get